Here we are at a very, very special place on the side of the tour and in the center of the labyrinth that is on the tour. Here we are looking at the egg stone. And people who've done my meditation into Avalon know that I speak about this egg stone as being the entrance to the other world, the world of Avalon. And as you can see, it definitely is shaped like an egg. And uh, I think it's much bigger than what, what you see here, but it's, yeah, it just marks the place, a sacred place, a sacred site here. And then here are a few amazing trees, well, hawthorn trees, and um, people put their prayers in the tree and trees and their blessings for this beautiful, magnificent spot. And here we are. And when you go up on the side of this hill, on the tour, I mean, you go up almost uh, to the top of it. So once you're here, and if you're not afraid of a little climb, then you can just climb up here and go to the top because as you can see there's the tower not too far now the egg stone as i said is a very special special place and in the beginning when i when i came to glastonbury and people told me about the egg stone and I think somebody showed me once and then I tried to find it myself um, and I, ne I was never able to do it really well I always had to climb up or climb down or sometimes I couldn't even find it and as this is also the uh, entrance to the fairy world you can understand if you know fairies they like to tease so it's not always easy to get here um, I've now found my particular path to get here, so I think I've been accepted by the fairies. That would be nice. And then just look at the views. Whoa. It's an excellent place for doing meditation. An excellent place for that. And so the center of the labyrinth, the labyrinth is uh, a Cretan labyrinth. If you look it up on, um, on Google, you'll find uh, the drawings of it, obviously named after labyrinths that they found in Crete. And um, it has seven chakras, seven layers. And you can see the layers on the tour. And um, yeah, and then these seven layers, these seven, so each of them represent a chakra. And I, uh, I've done it, I've done, I've walked that labyrinth once in my life because it takes you four hours to get into the center of the labyrinth and another four hours to take you out again. So you can imagine you don't really do that on one day, but it's a transformative journey. It is a big transformation. You go in to all your chakras and I remember that I found it very nice and once I was in, in the labyrinth in the center I didn't really want to get out <laughs> but I had to of course. But that's also, it's fine, that's fine. Um, so people do this on one day and the other day, another day, maybe later in the week they walk it out again but some people choose to just you know, stay in that center energy for at least um, one year. And I'm just turning the camera so you have not so much wind now coming in. Um, yeah, so they stay in that energy for a year. Now, I don't know what that does for them because I've never asked them. Maybe if what you are one of those people that have done that, you can tell me. I would love to know. But this egg stone 
is where you can enter the other world and um, hopefully maybe on another meditation I'll take you in there again um, but on the other hand you know Avalon or entering Avalon it's in your heart it's your heart energy your soul energy you know you can enter at any time really it's nice to have a symbolic site where you can think that's the entrance and you know according to legends it is but the Avalon connection is always from the heart of the soul being I'm just showing you that beautiful beautiful view of here it's quite amazing oh and so uh, one of the legends of King Arthur is is also um, has the tour in it and the fairy king Gwynab Nut so in one of these stories Gwynab Nut uh, abducted Guinevere and then Arthur came to the tour and rode around the tour to find an entrance to Avalon which he could not because of course that was magically sealed and so he got really desperate until Merlin came to the rescue of course because he knows his magic and he made a deal with Gwynab Nut so that Arthur could enter and he got back Gwynevere and all was well again I mean up till the time Lancelot came along but that is another story <laughs> um, so you see there's many many legends and stories connected um, um, to the Arthur stories I mean with the tour um, with places around Glastonbury um, and according to many people this is the Avalon well, I'll leave it up to you to make up your own mind and I'll see you the next time